Okay, everybody who thinks that sound travels fastest through a gas, raise your hand. Okay, if you think sound travels fastest through liquid, raise your hand. And if you think sound travels fastest through a solid, raise your hand. Okay, I'm gonna give you about three or four minutes to talk in your groups to come up with your reason why, and then we're gonna debate and we're gonna give our rationale behind why you think you're correct, okay? So who can tell me what our directions are? What are you getting ready to do? Yes. Explain why did you come, um, why did you choose that's the fastest group and, um, and, why, and why do you think that? Okay, ready, go. We just did our experiment. Um, who can tell me what are the objects that sound waves travel through? Okay. Um, liquid, solid, and gas. Liquid, solid, and gas. And which object do sound waves travel fastest through? Which object? Say sound waves travel. Sound waves travel through um, molecules. Well, which object does it travel solid. through fast? Solid. solid because okay, because because it's tightest together. What is tightest <laughs> together? What is tightest together? He said it is tightest together. Molecules. What does he mean? What molecule? Mo the molecules are tightest together in a in a what object? What object are molecules tightest together? Solid. Does anyone disagree? Does anyone disagree, or do you all agree? Who agrees with him that molecules are tightest together in a solid? Okay, um, so that leaves liquid and gas. Which object do sound waves travel slowest through? Without shouting out, raise your hand. Which object? Yes. Um, they go slowest through oxygen. Yes. Is it just oxygen? It's also gas. Okay, so a gas. That's our word. Um, explain why. Because all the, all the molecules are all spread out. Okay, so what does that do? How does that impact how sound waves are traveling if the molecules are spread out? It makes it slower. Okay, what's slower? The new word we're using. Hmm? The vibrations. The vibrations, right? Okay, 